don't probably know. a lot of people don't know what the marriage right, is. Right, what right, right. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I would say my agenda looks like probably the uh, prime, the premier of uh, of a province, and maybe even a prime minister uh, of a country. Though I don't have to do all the traveling, but in a day I will have, of course, a lot of meetings with uh, the public servants. I will meet citizens. I might meet a minister within a day to work on different uh, subjects and see how we can move forward with some financial resources and share a vision. Then I might, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to go to an event or two at night in the evening to represent the city of Montreal as well. And you can add on that other things here and there. So it's a lot of work. And though I love it, though. So this is the, the part that is... I would say uh, exciting, but there's also the pressure uh, having to deal with, um, you know, people that uh, may like what you do, but also may not like what you do. So it's a very high intensity job. I've been there for eight years now. So of course I know what, um, you know, it looks like to be the mayor in terms of the energy that is needed for me to do a great job day after day, you know, year after year. And when you you go for an election, you sign, you sign for four years, which is what people expect you to do. Knowing the energy that it needs, I really felt like I, ha I wanted to be honest with Montrealers and say, I don't think I'm capable of of having the same level of energy, like full on every day for four extra years. So I wanted to be honest and, you know, I'm excited about the next year. I would have been excited about the campaign because I love campaigning, but then I would have been probably okay for another year, but then I'm not sure. When you're a 21 year old and an 18 year old have kids, they, they're like, oh, by the way, grandma was, was mayor. Oh my God, when you say that, it's weird. <laughs> What, what do you want them to remember? Yes. What mark? Uh, you know, what's, what's your legacy? What, what mark do you think you're going to have? Yeah, next? well, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, they'll be able to say that those are the first kind of cycling path that grandma contributed to, but now there's so many everywhere. Or that now there's those, those uh, sponge uh, sidewalks and parks. And this is like one, the, the first ones that were created in Montreal because of grandma. But now there's so many, you know what I mean? I hope that, and this is why this, this work is, is to actually change, the, to mark the territory. So there's no coming back of doing a city where there's not enough trees, not enough green spaces, that we're not ready and resilient enough in terms of uh, flooding and flash rains. This is why I'm doing this. So uh, hopefully there'll be mo much more now uh, after me, but I would be, I will be happy to, if I'm remembered for, um, you know, we doubled the number of green spaces in Montreal since we took office. Like, I hope kids will say, like, Le Grand Parc de l'Ouest is because of Valerie Plante, you know, because she wanted to protect it.